Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and have a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So today, we're going to do an update to my vintage and generic silver challenge collection. For those who have just joined this channel, I actually set a challenge for myself to collect all the vintage and generic silver browns that I could find here in Singapore. And what you see here on your screen is the collection box with all these silver rounds that I've found in the last 10 months. For this video, I'll be doing an update to my Buffalo Silver Rounds. These rounds are based on the US Buffalo Nickels. These silver rounds are actually quite common in the United States, although they are fairly difficult to find here in Singapore. Now, I've already done video about these silver rounds, and if you'd like to watch that video, I'll leave the link to it right up here. For this video, I'll be adding these new Buffalo Silver Browns to the collection, giving me a total of 6 different designs. As we move on with the video, I'll start by quickly going through the design and specifications. Then we'll do a quick recap of the 3 Silver Browns that I've reviewed before, before taking a look at these new Silver Browns that I'll be adding to this collection. But before we get into them, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Now, all the Buffalo Silver Rounds that I have in my collection have essentially the same uh, specifications. These rounds are minted in 3 9 fine silver. They have a weight of 31.1 grams or 1 troy ounce, a diameter of between 38 to 39 millimeters, and a thickness of approximately 3 millimeter with a fully ridded edge. With the design and specifications out of the way, let's do a quick recap now of the 3 Buffalo Rounds I currently have in my collection. I'll start with this piece over here. This piece is not from the uh, United States, this is actually from the European Mint, and this was recently released in 2023. The round here, this buffalo round, is in a metal orientation. And although this is an extremely beautiful piece, the strike on the round itself is actually rather weak. The second round that I have is in coin orientation, and this round is from the Golden State Mint. Our third buffalo round is also in coin orientation and this round is from the Silvertown Mint. Now Silvertown actually minted this round from 2001 to 2016 and the current round that I have in my collection is from 2002. With the recap out of the way, let's go ahead now and take a look at the 3 new buffalo rounds that I'll be adding to this collection and I'll start with this piece over here. Uh, this round is again from the Silvertown Mint, as you can see from the back and the orientation of the round. And unlike the previous round from 2002, this round is from 2010, as you can see from the date right down here. Next, we have this beautiful reverse proof buffalo round. This round is in a metal orientation and it's from RMC or the Republic's Metal Corporation as you can see from the min mark down here. Now, RMC is already defunct. It's no longer in operation. It's been taken over uh, actually by Asahi Refinery. So that's uh, quite uh, fortuitous because the next round that I'm going to show you is from Asahi. We come now to the final round that I'll be adding to this collection. And as you can see, this round is in proof finish, unlike the reverse proof of the RMC round. And this round is in metal orientation, and as I mentioned just now, it's from Asahi. Now, Asahi having taken over operations from RMC, is currently producing these buffalo rounds in both a reverse proof and in proof finish. I have yet to find the reverse proof buffalo rounds by Asahi, but I was really happy to be able to score this proof round right here in Singapore. Okay, I have the 3 new buffalo silver rounds in the quadrum square capsule. And before I end this video, I'd just like to share a quick story about the Asahi buffalo round. I purchased this round from Bullion Star of Singapore. And they recently had this uh, listed as part of their inventory. And it's available for sale uh, right now. And on the day that I went over to pick up this uh, silver round, I made another uh, purchase on their random uh, one ounce silver round sale. And the round that they gave me was actually another Asahi. So right now I have two of these uh, buffalo rounds. However, because I purchased uh, this round as a random uh, one ounce uh, silver lot, I actually paid $1 less for this round on the same day that I purchased uh, this silver round. 
so that was uh, really awesome. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed watching me get my Buffalo rounds uh, updated and organized for my collection here. Those of you guys who are in the States are probably wondering why I'm uh, making such a fuss over these uh, very generic Buffalo rounds. But these rounds are actually quite difficult to find here in Singapore. And so far over the last uh, 10 months, these are the six uh, different rounds that I could only manage to find here in Singapore during all my hunts. Well, anyway, I'll be hoping uh, to uh, continue with my hunts until the end of this year. And hopefully by the end of this year, I'll get this uh, box filled up and then we'll do a quick review of what I've actually found right here in Singapore as part of my challenge for this year. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you've enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you know, please take care, be safe and have a nice day.